Okay, so next thing I want to go ahead and talk about really fast is how we can introduce variables. Um, and before uh, we go much further, you, if you wanted to read the HTML version of this lecture, you could read more about variables. But essentially, a variable is just something that is storing a value that is literally variable because it varies. It could change at any given time what the value of that that stored item is. So let's see uh, how we can declare a variable. Okay, um, <clears throat> We can go ahead and create a variable that says uh, favorite. Let's just call it my favorite. Okay, and we're going to give it a value. And let's say that my favorite is going to have a string value. And I like to go ahead a lot of times and close, open and close my uh, quotation marks and terminate so that I don't forget the closing one later because it could throw an error. So I'm going to just say that this is going to be I like Santa. Okay, I don't know. And then I actually need to put a space right there. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and also get rid of this part that says this is a string using echo. Okay, so now I have uh, a variable. I'm going to save this and I want to show you something really quick. So right now what I'm doing is I'm storing the string I like Santa in, as a value into the variable of my favorite. Okay, so let's go ahead here and we'll refresh the page and there's nothing on the page. And it's not an error, so if we were to you know, inspect the element you'll see that in fact we can uh, look at there's nothing inside of the head, there's nothing inside of the body, all right? That's because all we're doing is storing this value in a variable. We're not actually producing it in such a way that it's going to process it out to HTML. We would have to echo or print my favorite, okay? And then notice that I'm in Dreamweaver. Other programs that are coding programs will do this. Once you've created a variable, like I did on line 11, a lot of times it'll if you've got the the prompts set up, it'll prompt you to autocomplete what it thinks might be the variable that you're trying to type. And a lot of times that's a really nice feature because it saves you from, you know, mistyping things and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and echo my favorite. We're going to do a really quick test. Hit refresh. And now you see it says, I like Santa. It's actually printing it to the screen now because I'm echoing it. I'm actually telling it to do something. It's kind of like that thing about you know, does a tree fall in the forest if no one's around to hear it, right? So uh, we need to be able to say it out loud so that the browser can hear it, so that it's not just something that PHP is like thinking in its head, all right? <clears throat> all right, so we've got Echo My Favorite, which comes out with I Like Santa. All right, now you could also echo that uh, My Favorite, like you echo this out, as part of something else and what you can do is you can put this inside of double quotation marks if you put a variable inside of double quotes then one of the things that you'll notice is that it's going to still work in double quotes not single quotes but in double quotes it's still going to render out the value of my favorite variable as I like Santa so I'm going to go ahead and change that save it and I'm going to refresh and you see it's still identical. It's still saying I like Santa. The reason I'm showing you this step by step is so you can also be doing this and test things out for yourself. I want you to get in the habit of starting to test things like this in this progressive fashion. It helps you find your errors immediately so that you don't build up a whole bunch of code and then take takes forever to figure out what you did wrong. So that's also going to go to say that I could mix this variable up with another part of a string. So I could announce my favorite and then I could have another sentence that says I also like ice cream. I'm just making this nonsense up as I go along. Um, so I also like ice cream and we're just saying my favorite and then I also like ice cream. We'll save it, hit refresh and then you see that it basically puts these two sentences together. So I, it's grabbing the value of my favorite for I like Santa and it's pushing, putting the value on the screen and then it's also printing out the rest of the string that I said right here. Now one of the things that I want, to, want you to pay attention to is that 
this looks very similar and once it's inside these double quotes the color co coding all goes basically the same a best practice whenever you have a, s a variable inside of double quotes the best practice is going to be put curly braces around the variable it's a really good practice um, it'll still work without them but it is as I said a best practice for two reasons one is that it automatically helps you identify visually in the code view that that is a variable and it's not just some other text if you're not looking more closely right now it's easy to see because we don't have very much on the page but sometimes you know you can have like hundreds of lines of code and you know looking at that kind of stuff inside of a string might be hard to find what you're looking for so having curly braces around the variable inside of a double quoted string is going to be really uh, a good idea the other reason that you would want to do that okay is because this way you can all also butt something right up to the end all right you can butt something right up to the edge of that variable and I'll show you what I'm talking about and I'm gonna as a result I'm gonna make a new variable and we're gonna say uh, let's go ahead and do say gender okay we're gonna make a variable called gender and um, what we can do is the value at this given moment could be male okay at any other given moment somewhere in the script it could all also you know switch and it could become female depending on what the input is or whatever okay so in this case let's just say that the gender is male um, that's what the value of that variable is at this moment in time and uh, let's say that in a lot of the places in the page you would want to use the word male as an adjective okay so you could say that uh, you could use it by printing something like echo the individual in the study is and then you could put in your curly braces and you could say male or excuse me not male you could say gender okay and where's my curly brace like this right so here so far there's no need to you know worry about something butting right up to the end okay but in this case you would say the individual in the study is and it would substitute this as male okay now let's say that somewhere else down in the script here I'm gonna just put a line break so I'm gonna echo out a break tag so that there's a break in between let's say somewhere else in the page you're gonna use it in a different way let's say there oops, excuse me let's say echo there were 26 and then you want to say genders in this study okay let's end it like that now what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this to output and we're trying to make it plural what's going to happen though is it's going to read this as one variable when really the variable name is singular it's gender not genders and so it's going to see genders as a plural it's going to be a totally different variable and it's not going to have a value here so let's just save it real quick and let's just see what happens oops wrong thing sorry let's go ahead and open this let's go refresh this and you see what it's doing is it's saying hey there's an undefined variable called genders and then it tells you there were 26 and then there's nothing here in this study and it's telling me that the problem is on line 17 it's not always that it's going to give you this uh, notice if you have your error reporting turned on in such a way that it's going to give you even the level of notices it's not going to give you uh, sometimes you can uh, ch change your error reporting in your php.ini file so that it won't show up 
with notices, it would just let this go undetected and you would just be wondering what the heck was going on. But now we've got notices turned on, so it's telling me that there is no variable called genders. If for some reason you don't get this notice, if you do the same test on your computer at home, then you need to realize that your error reporting does not include uh, the level of notice. Because it's such a low error reporting level, uh, you might need to go into your PHP INI file and modify that if you want to get notices. But anyway, the point is that this is not a variable. What we need to do in this case would be to put curly braces around it, save that, and now let's refresh it. And you see that it's saying there were 26 males in this study. Okay, and I, I never did break this where it says the individual in the study is male. There are 26 males in the study. Um, so if you wanted to just copy this echo line, <clears throat> you could put one there, save it, refresh. Okay. Okay, um, so that tells you a little bit just in the basics about uh, how to render out some strings. Um, and what we're going to talk about in the next demo is we're going to talk about concatenation and then we're going to move on to like quotes and things like that. Okay, so I'm going to end this one here to be succinct.